Welcome to Brain Education TV. My name is Dr. Sindhu Ramesh and today we're going to talk about breathing and stress. Let's talk about stress. That's part of our lives and that's what we're always trying to deal with. So where did this stress come from? It came actually for a very good cause. It was to deal with wild animals or problems with climate and how our body responded in like a few seconds to save ourselves from danger. So what is responsible for it? It is called the sympathetic nervous system. So we have two nervous system, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic and they are known as the involuntary nervous system of our body. So what does involuntary mean? That means breathing, our heartbeat, digestion, all goes on. We don't think about it. Our body is constantly involuntarily doing these things to maintain our lives and to sustain our digestion and breathing and heart rate. So the sympathetic nervous system is what comes into play when we are faced with danger. What does it do? It increases your heart rate, your breathing increases, increased blood supply to your brain, to your muscles, so you're ready to run, fight or flight. It's all geared up so that you're ready to run away from danger. On the other hand, the parasympathetic system is called rest and digest. That means your body is in a state of calm, your heart rate is down, your breathing slows down, you're ready to digest your food, and that is rest and digest. So essentially, both these systems have to be in balance for us to lead a well-balanced life, a balance between our mind and our body. That's what's needed. So what happens nowadays is that we have perceived stress. What is perceived stress? Work, timeline, deadlines, studies, all this our body is perceiving as stress and it stimulates our sympathetic nervous system. So we are constantly in a heightened state of you know, readiness, even though there's really no real danger. Our breathing is fast, our heart rate is fast, and we have these hormone called cortisol, which is like flowing through our body, which has negative effects on our body. It affects our blood vessels, increases the blood pressure, it affects our, uh, the pancreas, and you can get diabetes. So, you know, a chronic state of stress is not good for our body. That's when breathing and the parasympathetic nervous system comes into play. And that's something we can do on our own. We don't have to depend on anybody. So how does it work? One of the most important nerves of the parasympathetic system is called the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve is one of the longest nerve in our body. It starts in the brainstem, that's right here behind our neck, courses all the way down the body and it supplies up to the large intestine. So while it goes down, it goes through an opening in the diaphragm. So the diaphragm is the muscle that separates the chest and the abdomen. And that is very important in breathing. That's the muscle that contracts and relax while we breathe. So while the diaphragm is moving, the vagus nerve that goes through the opening in the diaphragm, that is stimulated. And what happens when the vagus nerve is stimulated? You're stimulating your parasympathetic nervous system. So what does that do? It sends signals to the brain and says, okay, it's all calm, rest and digest. Heart rate comes down, breathing slows down. So we can do this anywhere. We don't have to depend on anybody. All you have to do is be present and breathe. How simple is that, right? So when you're at work or during a lecture or at home, just sit still and take some nice deep breaths. You're stimulating the vagus nerve, the parasympathetic nervous system, and you can calm down. Now let's try this for one minute. Take a nice deep breath through your nose. 
Feel your abdomen expand and exhale out through your mouth and feel your abdomen contract fully again breathe in through your nose feel your abdomen expand and exhale breathe out through your mouth feel your abdomen contract and it's when you exhale that the vagus nerve gets stimulated and the parasympathetic nervous system gets stimulated. So how do you feel? Do you realize that you have the power within you to manage stress on your own? As you practice more, you will come to realize you can reach that state easier and easier every time you do it. Thank you for watching Brain Education TV. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.